Hey everybody, it's Yvette and welcome back to this week's Stay Fit Sunday. Today I'm going to show you how I make spaghetti my way. Now the spaghetti part is easy, but it's how I doctor up my basic sauce that makes a difference for me. So what we're going to need is one pack of whole wheat spaghetti. Now you can use regular, but I like the whole wheat kind. And I'm only going to be using half because that's all I need. But if you have a larger family, definitely you're going to need the whole thing. So we're going to need about three cloves of garlic, one onion, but we're only using half, one pack of whole baby Bella mushrooms, uh, about a pound of lean ground beef. Mine is 93% lean. Some red wine, it does not matter what kind, just a little bit is all you're going to need. Uh, any kind of marinara sauce, you can get you know, the garlic or the roasted, whatever, doesn't really matter. I think, you know, the basic is just fine. So I get this one, there's no salt added or anything. And we're just gonna need, you know, salt and pepper, of course, but some basil and some oregano. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is take my onion, which I already peeled, and I'm just going to cut it in half. And then I'm going to put this half to the side. And now we're just going to slice this one up. Okay, and then really quick, I'm just going to chop up my garlic as well. Okay, so to my saucepan, my poor saucepan, I'm gonna add some extra virgin olive oil, about two tablespoons, and yes, it's all scratched up thanks to my husband, but you know, sometimes it happens. So I'm just gonna add about two tablespoons and turn the heat up to medium high and just let this get nice and hot. So once the pan is nice and hot, we're just gonna add in our onion and our garlic. And then you're just going to want to turn the heat down to medium low. Okay, so once your onions and your garlic have started to brown, you're going to want to add in your ground beef. So I'm just going to go ahead and dump that in. And then just break it up into small little pieces. Now I don't prep my spaghetti until I'm done prepping this because the longer you let all the flavors, you know, sit and incorporate with one another, the better it tastes. So that's why we are doing this first. Okay, so you want to make sure you rinse all of your mushrooms because they can be a little bit dirty sometimes. And now we're just going to slice them up, easy peasy, nothing special. Um, and what you want to do is just keep the slices nice and thin so they cook evenly. They cook pretty quick so you don't have to worry too much about them. Okay, so now that my ground beef has browned, you just want to make sure that if you're using a ground beef that's a little bit higher in fat, that you drain it. Um, I don't feel the need to drain it. I mean, you definitely don't have to. It will be more flavorful, but then again, it's gonna be a little bit more higher in fat. So I'm just gonna push my ground beef to the side because I'm gonna dump in my mushrooms and just let those saute. I'm even just gonna push my pan over a little bit like this. And we're just gonna dump in our mushrooms. I'm gonna drizzle a little bit of olive oil on top. And we're just gonna let this cook. And they are gonna shrink in size, so don't worry about that. Okay, so my mushrooms have been cooking for about three minutes, and once you feel like they've, they've shrunk down and they look good to you, just go ahead and mix them in with your ground beef. Turn the heat down to low because we are going to dump in our marinara sauce. Just go ahead and dump that all in. 
this, I'm also going to add a quarter cup of the red wine. And this is going to give it like a richer flavor. So then we're going to add in some oregano. I usually don't measure this out. I just, you know, dump some in there, maybe like a half a teaspoon or so. And the same thing with the basil. And I'm going to season with some ground pepper and a little bit of sea salt. Then we're just going to mix it all up. And make sure you have a lid for your saucepan. I should have mentioned this in the very beginning because while this uh, cooks for about 20 minutes and all the flavors, you know, um, work together, it's going to kind of splash up everywhere. So that's why we need the lid. So we're gonna cover this and just let it simmer for about 20 minutes or actually until your noodles are or your spaghetti is done. So now I'm just going to add some water in a saucepan, add some sea salt to it, turn the heat up to high, and we're going to let this come to a boil before we add in our spaghetti. It's come to a boil, I'm just adding in my spaghetti. Like I said, I'm adding in half of the package, and I do break it in half just to make everyone's life a little easier. So I just dump it in, and then I just you know, mix it around and let this cook for 15 minutes, stirring occasionally. And the reason why I like to overcook it is because when you overcook whole wheat pasta, it's not so dense and it, it then it tastes like regular spaghetti pasta. So that's why I overcook it. You don't have to, but that's just a personal preference. So I will see you guys back in 15 minutes. Okay, so I drained my pasta and I took everything off the stove I don't want my pasta to stick together, so I'm just going to add in a little bit of olive oil and it's going to help the pasta just not stick together. So I'm just going to mix this up real quick. And then we're just going to serve. So I'm going to take a little bit of pasta, maybe a little bit more than that. Maybe just a tad more. Okay, and then I'm going to scoop out about maybe like a, a big spoonful and just top my spaghetti. And then if you're like me and you like Parmesan cheese, you can always add a little bit of that. So I'm just gonna add a little bit for myself. So I hope you guys found this pretty easy and it tastes so good, super simple to make and it's just, I like to put my touch on my pasta sauce. So I hope you guys liked it. Let me know if you give it a try. Don't forget to uh, tag me in your post on Instagram and follow me on Instagram. And thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.